Hi, I'm Jamie Matthews. I'm the traveling healer. Um, what do you want me to say? Okay, so Jamie, you are just about to leave New Zealand on a life-changing trip. Tell me how this came about. Yeah, so um, what happened was in July last year, I was driving home from work and I realized that if I was to choose my life purpose, it would be to travel around the world and learn from the greatest healers from around the world. So I thought if I could share their wisdom and learn you know, what they've done to help people, or myself to help people as well, then I think I just really love that. So I thought, Margaret, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And uh, so what that meant was I had to sell my chiropractic practices and uh, get used to moving, uh, living on the road. So what I did was I moved out of my flat and moved into a van. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of transitions through that time, so yeah. So where did you first hear about this kind of healing? What were you doing at the time? Well, um, if you're talking about John of God, who I'm seeing in Brazil, um, six years ago, um, I saw him on YouTube. He's this guy that was cutting people's bellies without anesthesia and then stitching them up again. And uh, that was just outrageous and all these miraculous healings uh, and testimonials online. So. I was like, wow, is that possible? You know, if, if it is, I want to see it in person and, uh, and experience it maybe, you know, and if I could learn something from him, then that would be awesome. So, so tell me a little bit about where this curiosity for healing comes from. Yeah, so I would say from my childhood, um, my dad being Māori, um, he, it's, it's a, they're a spiritual uh, people and right from a child he was telling us um, uh, stories about uh, spirituality and it just opened my uh, beliefs and perspective into what's possible so uh, yeah I've always had a curiosity what else is possible yeah. and uh, yeah and just along my travels I've just I've seen so many things that have just pushed it even further and that's yeah. what I want to do more is just, is just figure out what is exactly possible in healing because uh, yeah these people you know proving these perceptions of old age and um, you know, not healing naturally that have been pushed on us over the years and I just want to help people to open their minds up you know? mm. So when you talk about your travels today, what have you done? Where have you gone? I haven't done a lot of travelling um, I've only been to Bali in Australia I uh, worked in Australia as well so this trip is big for me so yeah, I'm going to Brazil um, on the 16th of June so And I understand like you've got a one way ticket One way ticket, yeah so, <laughs> so I'm basically just going to go with the flow, um, just figure out my own way as I go, and and help people along the way. So, um, yeah, if anyone knows any places to go and uh, people to meet or healers to see. So along. you haven't got it planned out yet, you're just going <laughs> to wing it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wing it. Um, I want to go to Europe though, and I want to go to Tibet and Peru, uh, but I'm going to start in, in Brazil and then see what, what leads me from there. Yeah. So, Hopefully for a couple of years I'll, I'll be doing this at least. So, yeah. so when you left school you went straight out to uni and studied as a chiropractor? Yep, yep. well actually I studied pre-med. So yep. the first year I was I was wanting to become a doctor yep. and then part way through that I realised that I didn't really have a purpose in this so I was like, I don't know, this doesn't really make sense for me and I don't have a, uh, another deeper me meaning for it. So um, I stumbled across chiropractic and I uh, went to a, a talk one night and they talked about the body healing from the inside out, um, the, the, that we have an intelligence within our body and um, if there's any interference going on somewhere then we can remove that interference and then the body can heal itself yes. and um, it just made a lot of sense to me so I literally signed up for chiropractic the next day yeah. and uh, even though I hadn't been to a chiropractor before <laughs> <laughs> so yes yeah and then Six years later, I was a chiropractor. Yeah. yeah. And then you owned your own businesses. You had two successful businesses in Northland. Yep, yep. So I started a practice about three years ago in Manu, in uh, Whangarei. And I then started a practice in Dargaville. So they were really good. I, I, they were successful. Um, I mean, I think it was my fifth, in my fifth week, I, was, I saw 70 clients that week. <laughs> <laughs> so it grew, it grew fast. And it was successful, um, and then um, my learning furthered uh, in was it March last year, 
2016, I stumbled across contact care, yeah. and that flipped my understanding upside down once again. So, um, and so it was. How did it flip your understanding? Well, that that injuries cause our problems. That was the thing. So, um, and that bones can retain pressure after surprise impacts. Yeah. So it's like it was a whole new concept. And as soon as someone showed me, I was like, oh my god. If that if that's the case, then I've got to like put my chiropractic brain over here so I can understand it. Yeah. So I did th I did do that, and I just went along with it, and uh, it's turned out amazing. I've practice has gotten so much better, and um, yeah, people don't have to come see me every month for maintenance now. They're actually so you're doing fixed. yourself out of business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get a lot of I, got, I get a lot more referrals now, so uh, it just I just feels right. That I had to do that, yeah. And um, I just went with my gut, and um, and so you think your own spiritual journey to this position has driven your desire to go overseas? Absolutely, yep. Um, I mean, two weeks ago I did a psychic surgery course with Jeanette Wilson. She's a, she does healing, and um, she's a medium as well. She's been on TV, and and um, the curiosity with John of God led me to there, yeah. and um, so that's yeah, it's a whole other level that stuff, and. Yeah. yeah, it's like miraculous what stuff you can see yeah. happen, and um, yeah, you just have to look into it to, to see that it's possible, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so you, a couple, of, how long ago did you sell your businesses? Pretty much, beginning of 2017 was I was like clean slate. I'm now just doing uh, contact care. I don't, and from then I didn't have any leases or anything. I I've worked so many different places I've worked in Whangarei Waipu um, Kaikoui a few times Kerry Kerry Kohu Kohu last week Kerry Kerry Peninsula yeah I've been uh, yeah, on the road a lot <laughs> and because I live in my van it's it's, it's, it's when did you decide that you were going to live in a van you sold out all your possessions and moved into your van when was that yeah, that was probably about three months ago. So I've been in my van every night, pretty much, apart from a few nights where, you know, I've been a long way away, and someone said, "Oh, you can stay at my house." That's yeah. cool. But um, yeah, it's it's comfy, and um, I've got so much freedom now. You know, yeah. I. That's another thing as well. Um, contact care. Way back when I started learning it, when I got treated, after that, I've now got so much freedom in my life. It's really weird. I used to feel like I had a cage around me, and I felt like I couldn't go where I wanted to go. Didn't f I couldn't have the amount of money I wanted. I couldn't be in relationships that I wanted. I yeah. couldn't live where I wanted. So um, contact care actually freed my physical body up, yeah. and with that, I'm now mentally free. Yeah. It's a weird thing to, to think that, but it was my injuries that actually created my feeling of no freedom. Yeah. yeah. So that was an a, interesting concept. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was my sternum and my ribs. Yeah. And it, and that was so cranked and tight in there. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder I didn't feel yeah. pretty free. So, yeah. So do you hope to treat people while overseas? Is that... Yeah, every day. Yeah. Oh. Um, when people I see that need help, um, sometimes injuries happen right in front of you yeah. and you can help them there and then. Um, yeah, and I just want to... I guess share what I know with people and if they want to learn it they can come to New Zealand and, and learn it where, where I learned it but um, but if I can open them, them up to that concept yeah. then um, because it started in New Zealand and there's no one around the world really there's only uh, maybe a handful five or six maybe I don't know so how did it start? Um, Dale Speedy is the, is the founder he uh, and Kim Summers but Dale was the one that figured out that it could happen yeah. Um, so with his martial arts training and um, orthobiotomy and acupressure, um, he, he basically knew the body really well and he also worked with animals. Yeah. And one day he noticed that his horse had a uh, hard or tight rib and he leant up against it and then the horse leant up against him even harder. Then he leant harder and then the horse leant harder <laughs> into him. And then what happened was the, the horse actually started doing this rocking motion against him and he just braced against them and then all of a sudden the horse loosened up and just had a shake and then he felt the rib again and it was it was loose wow. so he realized that the horse had actually used him as a rubbing post just yeah. like a, like a tree or something yeah to release the rib pressure 
Oh. So this horse was doing it naturally. Yeah. And then he was like, whoa, something happened there. And he just, over the you know next few months to years, he just figured out how to recreate what the horse did on the, but yeah. to do it uh, with intention. Yeah. With someone there. So, wow. And that's what we've learned. Yeah. And so, you've got this one-way ticket, what are you going to yep. miss most when you go overseas? What am I going to miss most? Family, yeah. definitely, that's probably the biggest So your thing. family are from up here? Or yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. so I've got a brother and uh, my parents live in Whangarei, yeah. and uh, we're pretty close. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be the biggest thing. And also, probably the beaches in Whangarei. Yeah. Yeah, Giratiti and Mertapuri and, yeah. yeah. Cool. Definitely. Yeah. I think that's 